Hey guys, this is Ann. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and do an update while I was doing some of the what's for dinner um, videos. Uh, I have been doing really well. Um, I haven't lost a whole lot more weight um, at 279. My weight is kind of at a standstill and I know that's because I'm still sitting on my behind doing schoolwork. But um, that's going to change. I'm going to start a routine of bike riding. I got a new bicycle seat for, for the bicycle. Hopefully it won't feel like it's going to cut me in two while I'm riding it. And uh, I'm going to try and get out every morning and at least ride uh, the bicycle. Um, I'm not going to be able to do the uh, water aerobics. I just can't really afford it right now. It's kind of expensive. So I'm going to get out and just ride up and down the road on the bicycle. The weather's starting to turn cooler here. Um, that's a real plus that we have here on the eastern shore of Maryland. About late August, we start getting cool mornings and cool evenings. So I can fit that into uh, my you know daily schedule. Uh, I know I posted before about my blood work, but um, I am really happy about my blood work from the doctor last week. Um, my cholesterol is down to just absolutely phenomenal. It's 115. My bad cholesterol is down, although I do still have some residual, um, but my good cholesterol is way up. Um, I am really, really happy about that. And then my A1C went from a 12 to a 7 and I am just thrilled I'm not uh, she said don't even bother taking you know insulin or anything she says the way you're eating it's just going to keep coming down so while I may have periods of, of um, you know high blood sugar after eating fruit or something like that it comes right back down and that's the way your body's supposed to work so I'm no longer considered insulin resistant and I'm, I do not have metabolic uh, syndrome anymore, so I'm, I'm real glad about that. My thyroid is fine. I was a little concerned about that because um, for a couple weeks I was feeling kind of, you know, just, just weird and uh, uh, losing some hair and stuff like that. And she says she probably thinks that's just age, you know, along with some other symptoms I had. It, it was just age and hormones so um, I'll put some foods in there to try and counterbalance that but all in all I was just thrilled with um, you know the blood work and everything it just proved to me that what I was doing was right um, the only thing is my vitamin D was really low so she suggested a vitamin D supplement and I had been taking them you know, when I first started the diet, I mean, I had read all that. I knew that I needed to take them. And when I ran out, I didn't go back and get any more. So that's why that happened. So I went out promptly and got some vitamin D and started taking it. Because I don't get out in the sun much. I, I'm, I'm not a sun person. I don't like the heat. I don't like the hot weather. So in the summertime, I, I stay pretty holed up. <laughs> but anyway, everything is going really well. Um, I'm, I'm loving doing these uh, what's for dinner videos. I, I just see so many interesting recipes and things to try and I actually come up with a few on my own um, And that's the chef and me Bob and I both used to um, Have we had restaurants apart before we were together and then we had restaurants after we were together and um, Our last one we just had a blast with we cooked Native American food and we, we, we had a really good time so that that chef part of me is starting to come out and um, I just came, we were talking in the car about the leftover oatmeal that we had forgot to put in the fridge um, last night before we went to Southern Maryland. And um, we were talking about, you know, just different ways to make it, you know, to, to hang on to it and make it good. And we came up with this savory dish to make with it. So look at the what's for dinner number nine, I think it'll be, um, and see how that turned out. He, he was really impressed with it and so was I so um, anyway that's my update and um, I'm healthy and I feel good and to me that is just it is just a priceless gift um, that I have been given here uh, this time last year I didn't even want to get out of my chair and do anything um, I was just hold up everything was within arm's reach I, I, I didn't I just didn't feel like doing anything 
and now today you know I, I enjoy going out and watering my plants I, I enjoy getting up and, and cleaning my house um, I enjoy getting out and doing things with my husband and it's been such a long time since we've um, really been able to do that together because of my health so eating vegan has just been the most wonderful blessing um, that God could have ever ever showed me and um, and I tell you I, I want to mention this um, there if anybody that gardens or has wanted to garden and thought it was too much work and all that stuff because we're getting ready to start a garden um, look at a look up a film called back to Eden and look at the, the way this guy his name is Paul does his garden he um, moved to an area that did not have a lot of water and he was just searching for for ways to garden without water and go take a look at it it is really amazing that's what what while we don't lack water here I I'm not that <laughs> you know I, I, I feel better but going out hoeing all day long you know pulling weeds and stuff like that is not my idea of fun I love to plant I love to watch the plants grow I love to harvest and all that stuff but all that work in between uh, I'm not real thrilled about it so you watch this guy it's called backtoeden.org so, and if you want a garden try it I mean it, it's just phenomenal but uh, anyway I'm going to say God bless you and um, I hope you have a beautiful day see you later this is Ann